Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky Ons. I stream over at twitch.tv and we're here today to watch the live stream for 3.3. We're here with Scaramouche. It says uh, the show is about to start. I'm very excited and um, yeah, let's watch together. I think we missed Ido's talk. A friendly Where are word of we? advice. Test of courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. Oh. So please, be sure to exercise caution. Ah! Oh my god. It was so scary. <laughs> Were you scared? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> oh god. Who goes there? So, is there really a ghost around here? Oh. oh I this time I have a feeling that it's She's staring so right at us. <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? Jester, I have completed the task you gave <gasps> me. For two From this day forth, Balladeer and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Oh. Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? Oh my. Tori. Scaramusu, what's happening? <laughs> the Tore. In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. Oh! <laughs> Do we get to see him get his vision? Yes! What is oh, happening? Theory. Ooh! Ooh! You dare to gaze upon me? What is happening? Whoa. Oh, Feruza? Dare to mess with me. Oh, she's kinda cute. Too late for a rest. Have fun with his gift. <laughs> she's she's kinda cute. She's kinda Scaramouche. looking fun. Not Scaramouche yeah, versus Scaramouche. Does not make you indestructible. <laughs> What the? Why is he like staring himself down? What's he doing? Oh, code. That was quick. I'm in the way of the code. Perfect. <gasps> Look at him in his hat. What a precious little baby. I really want to see him get his vision. I hope we get to see it in the story. I feel like that's really interesting and it would be really fun. Oh. Hey, everyone, and welcome to the Hi. Genshin Impact oh, look at him. 3.3 special program. Yeah, I'll I'm go your sit host, next to him. Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of Lumine and Genshin Impact. And today I'm joined by Max, the one and only <laughs> middleman voice of the one and only Arataki Eats. <laughs> and I'm Patrick Pedraza, voice of the Wanderer. Oh. But up until now, travelers have only known me as Scaramouche, and everyone's been bowing me in the game with Aww. Yeah, that's true. But to be fair, it's a really cool fight. <laughs> it's a really cool fight. It is yeah, a cool fight, yeah. Anyway. I'm super excited to have the chance to share some upcoming content mm -hmm. with everyone. What did you Please all do. think about that trailer? I loved it. Okay, so I definitely <laughs> saw Ermensel in there, and I am really excited to find out more about it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I and agree. Yet, that trailer had everything. It had everything. It had uh, action. It had uh, drama. It was lighthearted in places, but it was dramatic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm just super stoked for everyone to see Scaramouche's, like, backstory oh, me I'm too i want to see his backstory yeah. so well, much speaking of that following the story's <laughs> development skarmouche is still in nahida's custody so i bet the custody? everyone's wanting to know is how he'll become the wanderer yeah yes. for sure and there's quite a story behind that if you're interested then be sure to play through the archon quest interlude chapter yes. in version of genesis wait archon there's quest so much to learn in this quest so i hope everyone interlude out Oh, come on, man. You can't just leave everyone hanging like that. How about some hints? Come on, please. please. A whole quest for him? All right, all Wait, right. What? How can yeah. I say no to a cute Oh my god, yes. You can't. Here's a little preview from the quest. Uh, yes? Okay, I'm excited. Oh my god! We ran into two people at the academia today talking about an essay. What Turns is out this? their topic was about the Tatarasuna incident. From what they were saying, it sounded 
like lots of Tatarasuna's history is still unexplained. And most of the information we have now is just from people filling the gaps with their imagination. At least that's what they thought. What is happening well, here? They guessed right about one thing. Tatarasuna was sabotaged. What the? Wait, why are they talking about Tatara Suna? Right? Mm, I guess we'll have to see. It is interesting, though, to see the Traveler, Nahida, and Scaramouche all together so peacefully. Yes. Like yeah, yeah, but in this interlude chapter, Nahida will task the Traveler and Paimon with keeping an eye on Scaramouche mm. while we go with him into Ermensol in search of some information. Oh, oh covering interesting. So Scarano. obviously, Nahida must have some reason for deciding to keep Scaramouche around. <laughs> Oh yeah, totally. And I'm liking Scaramouche's new style. Ooh, I'm loving his new style. Sharp. Yeah. Heck yeah, always. He's looking great. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> and at this point, he's known by a completely different name, mm -hmm. the Wanderer. The I love Wanderer. that name. Okay, so I know I'm not the only one who's curious about what <laughs> happens. I mean, it looks like he's really changed a lot. Yeah, yeah for sure. But I'm afraid that's all we can show for now. Oh Travelers my God, will this have looks to experience amazing. the story for themselves in game. I mean, it's better to explore the storyline without too many spoilers. That's right? true, true, definitely. True. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, we'll leave the rest for travelers to discover themselves. But the Wanderer is also going to be a new playable Ooh. character in version 3.3. Yes. So let's talk about that. Let's talk sure about that. I'm sure many of our viewers yes. are curious about his talents. Heck yes. Yeah, sure thing. Let's have a look at the Wanderer. Oh my God. Look at him. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation. <laughs> He's so cute. Just to occupy silence. The wind rises. Oh. Oh, Jesus. This looks fantastic. Oh, I like his little... Oh, wait. He's going to stomp on us? I was going to say, I like his circle on his back, but... Oh. <laughs> All right, Patrick, you're up. Oh, my God. Help introduce the Wanderer for us. Sure thing. The oh Wanderer is a catalyst user and mm -hmm. has an animal vision. I so bet. he uses wind blades to perform ranged normal attacks. Wind blades. Wait a second. Wind blades? Not the same as the Traveler's wind blade, though. <laughs> okay, okay. So, as everyone probably already noticed, the Wanderer <gasps> can hover in the air when he casts his elemental skill. Oh my god. Upon using his elemental skill, he will first deal AoE damage before leaping into the air and entering a hovering state. That looks so lovely. So, while hovering, the Wanderer's normal and charge attacks will be converted into Kugo, Fushudan, and Kugu Tofukai, respectively. Oh. The damage they deal and their AoE will be increased. Their damage will be considered normal and charge attack damage, respectively. Mm. Also, Kugu Tofukai will not consume stamina, and he can remain hovering for a certain duration. Oh my god. That's so awesome! He can fly! I want a hovering. <laughs> no, right? But he can't stay hovering forever. While hovering, the Wanderer constantly consumes Kuguryoku points to maintain his hovering state, which is the blue meter you see on the screen. Hmm. Even if he doesn't mm. move or attack, hovering will still consume Kuguryoku points. Mm. Okay. So this mechanic works a little differently than our typical stamina meter. Mm. There are many possible actions the Wanderer can perform while hovering in the air, which all rely on Kuguryoku points mm. rather than stamina. So. For example, sprinting mid-air will consume additional Kugoryoku points to mm -hmm. accelerate mid-air. And holding the sprint button will cause persistent point consumption to maintain speed. I like his rest and This gun. effect will replace nice. his default sprint. Jumping expends extra Kugoryoku points to increase hovering height. Holding jump will cause persistent Kugoryoku point consumption to keep increasing hovering height. So of he course, can keep going. Running out of points will end his hovering state. Will he take oh, a okay. damage so when he falls? Travelers need to plan their actions while hovering. Exactly. So with his talent, Jade Claim Flower, when casting his elemental I have skill, one question. if it contacts Hydro, <laughs> Pyro, Cryo, or Electro, Ooh. that instance of the skill will receive oh. a corresponding buff effect depending on oh, which element was contacted. Uh, so, for example, increasing That's cool. his Kugurioku points cap, attack, crit rate, or restoring a set amount of energy upon hitting opponents with oh. a normal or charged attack. The Wanderer can have up to two different That's kinds of these cool. buffs simultaneously. Ooh. Oh, look, 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 check that out. Part of the halo behind him changes color depending on the buffs you get. 
so travelers will be able to easily understand what effects the Wanderer currently has. I like that. It's helpful and still looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> so after unlocking another talent, Gales of mm. Reverie, when the Wanderer is in the hovering state, if his normal or charge attack hits an enemy, there is a set chance to gain another buff effect, <laughs> allowing him to sprint midair without Ooh. consuming Kugaryoku points. I love that. Additionally, okay. this buff effect will fire wind arrows yes. to attack the enemy. Attack oh, me harder. Dope. I'm sure extra buff effects like I that. I can't believe he's so amazing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And if you've noticed, there is a colorful aura of light around his body to indicate when that buff effect is triggered. Oh, that's, cool. that's amazing. I love all the detail they he's put amazing. into the wanderer. Yeah. Right, this brings us to the wanderer's elemental burst. Oh, yes. Yay! Please so, step on this. Out. Upon unleashing his burst, he compresses <laughs> the atmosphere and stomps it down toward the enemy. <laughs> so travelers oh should God. note that if the wanderer is in a hovering state when he unleashes his burst, then the hovering state will end and he will oh. begin descending after the burst is completed. Beautiful. Okay, this stomping animation is a little aggressive. That's that amazing. Cool. I know, I and it. it actually suits his character. Mm -hmm. It really yeah, does. <laughs> I like his wait, foot wait, wait. Let's not forget about the exploration talent. <laughs> I really uh, like yes. this. This is an interesting one. The wanderer can decrease the mora required when ascending bows and catalysts. Oh. You hey, can never complain about saving mora. <laughs> Am I right? Okay, uh? that's true. All right. Oh, now that we've seen the wanderer, nice. let's move on to I the like next that. new character. Are you ready? Look at I'm his bow. Ready. <laughs> Yay. Wait, is it frozen? <laughs> oh, it is. What did you say? Oh. Oh, I'm old now, so every other phrase escapes my ears. Try calling me Madam Farozan. Are you see old? If I can pick that up. Wait, is that a thing we can actually see her thinking about? We can actually see her like thinking out loud. Wait, her eyes are weird. She's got like two different like color eyes. About? Different forms of pressure-based <laughs> puzzle mechanisms. The base layer design of elemental monuments. Mm. Huh. Wait. Did you forget to call me Madam Farozan just now when you asked your question? Whoa. Sorry, Madam. What? Sorry. There's nothing wrong with being afraid of thunder, even at an older age. Older age? Oh she sounds gosh. sassy. Yeah, I know. And smart sassy. Too. <laughs> she seems so awesome. Oh, She's from fine. 100 years ago. I wonder what her skirt's <laughs> I know, her design is so cool and really detailed. I love it. So, even though she looks super young, she's actually an old person? Like, where's my teeth? <laughs> well, no, my she's teeth? not that old. <laughs> oh, right. Farazan's age is probably still nothing compared to Scaramouche. Mm -hmm. That's true. But let's call him the Wanderer. So <laughs> How old is okay, the Wanderer? I you know who I meant. Actually, now that I think about it, Yokai can also live a really long time, too. That's right. Yeah. It no, is old. Speaking of age, isn't the traveler's <laughs> age also kind of mysterious? Mm -hmm, that's true. Farazan works <laughs> in Academia's so Haravatat Darshan and has been a hairbod, which roughly means mentor for over a century. Mm -hmm. So I bet everyone out Damn, there is that's crazy. she's also some kind of creature blessed with long life, you know? <laughs> like Klee? Oh. No, she's actually like just Klee? a regular, typical human being. Oh. Well, maybe um, not so typical. What? About a hundred years ago, Farazan was an undisputed genius traveling oh. all around Sumeru and solving many puzzles and mysteries mm -hmm. the notes she left behind eventually became the basis of mechanical research for later generations oh, oh she sounds pretty amazing she does sound pretty amazing <laughs> but later she accidentally stumbled into some ruins while trying to solve a puzzle <laughs> Not there this. she encountered some strange phenomenon which stopped her from aging phenomenon. and was trapped there for nearly a hundred years oh she eventually solved damn the puzzle and was able to finally return to sumeru hmm. wait didn't you sino help her come back for 100 years yeah, what happened? Wait, wait, so that's how she's been a uh, hair bod for over a century. Yeah. Can we like? And even now, she still has get the, the pride backstory? of a scholar in her heart, and is a very talented person. Mm. It's just that after being separated from the world for so long, she's oh. kind of fallen behind the times now. Oh, hey, oh poor Farouz. I get what you mean. She was once a proud researcher in a niche field that has become unpopular <laughs> after a hundred years. So, is she still completely dedicated to her field? Mm. Yep. 
And she often tries using her old age as a means of drumming up support for her ideas. <laughs> However, I think she'd prefer She's to funny. be complained about for using her seniority rather than garnering sympathy for her experience of being trapped in the ruins. She's kind of yeah, cute. Sounds like she's quite the character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, right? She does sound like okay, quite the character. So now that we've covered her backstory, <laughs> why don't we take backstory a look at cool. Arizon's abilities in combat? Yes. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> Me and Edo, we have that in common. A hundred years We like the fight. Yet there hasn't been any change to those dumb rules at the academia. Is she also holding it sideways? Oh. Oh, that's cool. Have fun with this gift. <laughs> Have fun with this gift. Oh, 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 what does this do? What does that do? I love all the geometric shapes when she's playing. Did you guys see that? Yes, that there's so much geometry. And I took geometry. It looks so cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Farzan is an animo character, and she wields a bow as her weapon. <laughs> mm. Her normal attacks are the usual bow attacks you'd expect from a bow user, so mm -hmm. there's not too much to say about that. Kind of reminds me of Fischl. But her skills are where things get interesting. Mm. Her elemental skill deploys a polyhedron oh. that deals damage to enemies. After using her skill, her next nice. aimed shot will become a special attack that oh. creates a vortex. Pulling nearby objects and opponents in. That's cute. Nice. So she can clump enemies together. And there's also clump another together. thing about her special charged attack. It will create a vortex effect at its point of impact. And if the mm. attack hits an enemy or ally member, it'll apply a mark and create a vortex after a short delay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Mm. So it looks like there will be a lot of potential uses for this attack. Yeah. Travelers will have to experiment with it and see what they come up with. Yeah. I think it'd be amazing to try hitting teammates with the arrow in co-op mode and have them charge into the enemies to group them all together. <laughs> I'll have to see who That's wants to try that with me. <laughs> After unlocking the talent Impetuous Flow, the time required for fully charging Farozan's next shot will be reduced, and the arrow oh. will reduce the target enemy's animo resistance. Oh, in we her like that. Burst, she deploys a dazzling polyhedron and we releases a whirlwind that. pulse. Throughout its duration, the dazzling polyhedron will continuously move along a triangular path. Once oh. it reaches each corner of that triangular path, it will unleash one more whirlwind pulse. Yeah, one minute she's here, the next oh, she's that's cool. Polly gone. Polly gone. years. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Even Sino's jokes are funnier than that. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Those whirlwind pulses have. <laughs> sure. When the whirlwind pulse hits opponents, it oh will decrease God. their animo resistance. It will also oh. apply an animo damage buff effect oh. to all nearby will party it? members oh. when it's unleashed. Oh, Travelers should know that the effective range of this we buff love is animo. quite large, and it's not just within the whirlwind pulse okay. itself, so there's no need to go chasing the polyhedron. Buff me harder, After my right? After unlocking her talent, Lost Wisdom of the Seven Caverns, when a team member uses normal charged or plunging attacks, elemental skills, or mm. elemental bursts to deal animo damage to mm -hmm. an enemy, the damage will increase based on mm. Farazan's base attack. This effect can only be triggered once for a certain duration <laughs> of time. Oh, so it seems she'll be the solid support. Yeah. Totally. Mm. And as a researcher of mechanics and puzzles, Farazan has taken it upon herself to explore many ruins, with mm. her travels taking her all across nice. Sumeru. We love her exploration that. exploration talent reflects this. And she gains more rewards when dispatched we love to the expedition for 20 hours. Yes. Sure mentor in Haravatat has 100 years of experience in solving puzzles. Yeah, exactly. I gotta say, that's pretty hard to beat. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. the big question is, when can travelers expect to get these new characters? <laughs> that is a good question. Gimme, give gimme. Give Let's talk about the upcoming event wishes. In the Ooh. early part of version 3.3, Arataki Ito. Ito will be available via their own event wishes. Oh, wonder. Farazan will also be making her debut in these event wishes. Oh, with Skara. In the later oh. part of version 3.3, she will be rerun event wishes for both the Raiden oh. Shogun and Kamisato Ayato. Oh, that's and tough. Last but not least, that's the some new great banners. Tule Tula's Remembrance will be appearing in a new weapon event wish. And that's Tule not Tula's. All. In version 3. With Red Horn. Two brand new artifact series will be Fantastic. So oh, travelers artifacts. Be sure to check out the corresponding domain. Yes. Show us the artifacts. I hope travelers will have fun experimenting and Ooh, trying new combinations. Oh, those are pretty. With me. Yeah. Okay. We've already yeah. talked about a ton of new content, so why don't we take a quick break with another oh, redemption code? Sounds Flower good. Of Paradise. Roll out the code. We need animo. 
Wait, yes! Show us the artifacts, please. Dum, 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 dum. Welcome back to the version Ooh, 3.3 special this? program. New sword. Okay, Patrick, what do we have next? So next, we'll be covering the upcoming oh. events for the new version. That's right. We've already mentioned the test of courage. Oh, test of courage. So let's go. Wondering about that, so let's start there. Yes, show us more. Uh -huh. You must be here to participate in the test of courage. I can already see a dark aura surrounding the two of you. <laughs> if you carelessly go running into the event, all it'll take is one little misstep. The <laughs> darkness will swallow you up. <laughs> wow. Some strange and unusual things may occur along the way. If you ever feel you can't handle it, you may withdraw from the event at any time. This is your <laughs> last chance. Oh, damn. Count it down. What's happening? Three, two, one. Welcome to the test of courage. Hmm. Enter at your own risk. Uh, that was pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I want that sword. It looks so cute. Yeah, I mean, it is a test of courage. So I'm sure there'll be some scary stuff going on there. I ain't scared. Anyway, uh -huh, to sure, successfully Ida. clear this event, we'll be facing a series of little tests. Ooh, what's this? Tests, you say? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Word has it that if you walk <laughs> around the test of courage, you might find yourself encountering a special Ooh. sort of game. We've already got the rules down, so I'll do oh, a quick introduction. What's this? Basically, oh. travelers will have to control a bouncing bar to bounce a ball and use skill <laughs> oh my God, yes. to break as many bricks as possible. It's brick breaker. <laughs> this one seems pretty straightforward. During the game, travelers that. will be able to trigger elemental reactions to break bricks more oh, effectively. I love that. <laughs> nice. It even has elemental reactions. So yeah, cute. We can control the character to move the bar. When the character we're using is either oh. pyro, hydro, cryo, or electro, the that corresponding makes sense. element will be applied to the bar. By That's switching characters, cool. you can change the element of the bar. Okay, yes. all the pieces are falling in place now. Yeah, 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 the yeah. bar can infuse a certain element. Yeah, this also looks have cool. Their own element. So causing a skill ball of one element to Aww. hit blocks of different elements will trigger elemental reactions. This looks there, very fun. Yep, you nailed it. The bar will add the element corresponding to your mm. character. Besides triggering reactions the way you just mentioned, if mm -hmm. a skill ball is already infused by an element mm. and it hits the bar, it will also trigger a reaction, causing mm -hmm. the skill ball to have some additional effects. Nice. When preparing oh. your team, you can equip modifiers to receive various mm. buff effects, which will mm -hmm. help you successfully clear the challenge. Oh, nice. That sounds cool. Also, when there like are less that. than a certain amount of bricks on the board and the ball lands another I like hit, that. the bar will unleash fireworks. Whoa. Fireworks. Yeah. Oh. Travelers can utilize this effect to break That's some so bricks cute. that would normally be difficult to hit directly. It's like a bonus attack. Oh, yeah. sweet. So, travelers will need to select characters no. of the right elements, equip the appropriate modifiers, and mm -hmm. use different mm -hmm. elemental reactions to break bricks and score more points. I like points. this music. And then travelers will be able to use their points to exchange for rewards oh, in look the at event that. shop, correct? That's right. As always. Also, travelers nice. will have the option of teaming up and playing the event Ooh, together in co-op. Really? Oh, looks like yes. a lot of fun. Yeah, super fun. Yeah. In addition to this mini game, the Test of Courage storyline will also contain more challenges. Challenges. Travelers will I even like. have a chance to meet with some good friends again. Is it so Ido? be sure to check out this <laughs> new event. All right. Is it best let's to move on to our next event. Okay, so next up we have a race event called Across the Wilderness. Mm. Your objective... What's this? Collecting blues. <gasps> oh, oh, this I looks so cute. Seems like the Wanderer's abilities might come in real handy here. True. <laughs> I know, right? So, in this event, each stage will have wilderness balloons scattered all around. Getting scaramus just for an event. As many wilderness balloons as possible <laughs> within the time limit to earn increasingly mm. better rewards. Mm. So, during the challenge, Travelers will be able to utilize their character's skills and talents. So mm, it'll be important to assemble the right team depending on the traits and terrain of the challenge this area. Very cute. Oh, interesting. interesting. Yeah, so what is that Beatles ship? Also something called the Wilderness Compass to nice. obtain various buffs, oh. which include enhanced jumping capabilities, increased movement speed, or unlimited stamina, etc. Mm. However, you can only claim one buff during each challenge. Mm. You must consume 
blessed energy to use the compass and gain the selected buff. <laughs> you may blessed. charge the compass up by finding wilderness balloons or interacting with blessed energy in the challenge. I love blessed energy. Or you energy. can always wait for the compass to passively charge over time. Yo, this event looks pretty crazy. It's I like, like this. Watching parkour. <laughs> parkour. <laughs> yeah, there are two different kinds of wilderness parkour. balloons in these challenges. The first is harvest balloons, I like which this. will increase the overall progress of your search for wilderness balloons. The other kind is sonar balloons, which will cause several harvest balloons to appear around you for a set amount of time. That's awesome. So I like there this. will be five stages available for this event, and travelers will need oh, to consider wow. the conditions and terrain of each stage to come up with the best way to complete it. Also, travelers may team oh up in co-op mode for challenges. Ooh, more chances to play together. I love yes. it. Yeah, same. Okay, let's move on That's to our exciting. next event. I like Everyone's this. favorite game of hide and seek is oh my God, yes! with the Wind Trace event. I've been and hoping course, for this. this is going to be another co-op event. Oh, I've always wanted to play this. I'm super excited for it. Cool. There's nothing like a good co-op. What's with the cute uh, many kitty? Of you might already be familiar with this event by now, but I want to play this. Let me introduce what travelers can expect to see this time around. Oh. We can probably skip some of the basics this time. You mm -hmm. know, players either hide or seek. And mm -hmm. then Okay, wait a second. Uh -oh. There actually might be some new travelers out there who've never seen this event before. Ah. So, why don't you start with some of the basics? <laughs> right, good point. Okay, uh, let's start at the beginning then. This is a game with a long history in Mondstadt. Travelers mm -hmm. will be split into two different sides. The Rebels and the mm -hmm. Hunter. You will need to use skills and master the art of hiding oh, or this. chasing down others to win this event. The goal of the Hunter is to capture all the Rebels, while the Rebels run or use <laughs> other means to keep themselves from getting caught by the Hunter. Okay, that's straightforward girl. enough. So Stop, that's so funny. Well, some travelers may remember playing as the Rebels and getting caught early in the game. Once that would happen, all you could do was spectate and watch the rest as the others continue playing. But mm -hmm. this time around, once you're caught, you'll still be able to participate in the match even Ooh. in observer mode. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, Once you're in help them mode, win. You can't be seen by other players and will receive the elusive oh, beacon skill. That's funny. This skill will allow you to place a random beacon to confuse the hunter. If your beacon successfully tricks the hunter and is destroyed, <laughs> then the hunter will suffer an obscure vision effect. <laughs> that's so funny. Even after you've been captured, oh, I like you that. can be like a little ghost trying to help your teammates by disrupting the hunter. Yeah, yeah I like that's that. That's pretty fun. And at least you won't have to sit there and just watch the rest of the match anymore. Exactly. But what <laughs> just does play the stuff hunter everywhere. get this time? I mean, we gotta keep it fair. <laughs> Some new Windward Arts have been added for both the Hunter and the Rebels. The Hunter will now be able to use the Hunter's Net. This net can be thrown and will remove any Rebel disguises within its range and will notify the Hunter that a Rebel was detected. If a beacon is caught in the net, it will be destroyed and the Hunter will not suffer from obscured vision. Nice. Aww. So I guess if you love playing Hunter, you'll probably love this. Oh yeah, you definitely <laughs> should. The skill Rebels so used funny. in previous versions of the game to place beacons can now only be used by players in Observer mode. However, the Rebels will be able to use an all new Concealing Beacon skill. Oh. This skill will allow you to deploy a beacon for a set duration and remain <laughs> invisible while you're around that beacon. All players in Oh no. Including your rebel oh, teammates okay. will be unable to see you oh. while you're invisible. If the concealing beacon is destroyed by the hunter, then the hunter will have their vision obscured for a short time. Sounds pretty fun, huh? Yeah. 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 So even if you end up being captured by the hunter at the start of the game, mm. you'll still be able to participate and assist your teammates. And Makes sense. did I, I like that. I like that a lot. Rewards? I, mean, ah, I like stuff. that. So be sure to check it out. The good stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Seriously, I can't wait to play with friends. Mm. Okay, our next event yeah. is a combat-based event. Time combat. For some combat. Let's go. In a forbidden place warded by dust and sand, Ooh. mysterious foes have assembled lines of fortifications to stop your coming. <laughs> <laughs> Misty. That's right. A new edition of Misty Dungeon That's a lot of will arrive in version 3.3. Stoked. Sweet. But this time around, there will be a total of seven trials mm -hmm. with different themes awaiting you in the Misty Dungeon. Mm. Each has a different ley line disorder, and travelers will have to adjust their teams according to the disorder's effects and the distribution of enemies. You know. Oh. 
If it were up to me, I'd say just go for all the challenges. <laughs> mm. I know, but travelers should keep in mind that the challenge objective for each trial this looks fun. might be different. So I like sure stuff like this. I like the fight and combat. In terms of rewards, travelers can look forward to winning premium I like rewards. And other various prizes. This is yes. all great to me. Ooh, I like prizes. And last but not least, version 3.3 will also have Leyline Overflow events. Yes. Travelers can look forward to saving their resin and earning more oh, yes. Mora and experience books. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, that we would be love great for all the travelers this. out there still leveling up all their new characters. Mm -hmm. And even if you don't need those resources now, it's always good to stock up and have more on hand. Am I right? My favorite yeah. event. <laughs> so, travelers looking to upgrade their characters won't want to miss this. this is the yeah, best. I mean, this is all good stuff. In addition to the new version's limited time oh? events, Version 3.3 will also be adding a new permanent Finally. game mode called Genius this is what Invocation I've been TCG. For. <laughs> but let's go. before we get into that, let's take another quick break and enjoy a redemption code. Yeah. Yay! Slap that code on the screen. Give me those cards. <laughs> Give me those cards. Oh my god, look at this. I'm so excited. This is all I've been waiting for since they announced it. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Hi. During our journey into Missed that, you. <laughs> we've stumbled across several NPCs talking mm -hmm. about a game called Genius Invocation TCG. Mm -hmm. So next, we'll introduce this card game that's been taking <laughs> to bat by storm. Yes. In the version 3.1 special program, we already revealed that Genius Invocation TCG will be a card game where yes. we can challenge various characters and NPCs or battle against your friends. Yes. But there is actually a legend behind this game. A legend. It is said that a young guy in Sumeru found an ancient casket of tomes in the attic. Oh my god. He opened it and discovered <laughs> the soul of an ancient TCG Stop. player called the Crocodile King had been captured <laughs> inside. Oh, what a name. This. It turns oh out god. that the Crocodile King was King Deshret's viceroy, who battled an opponent named the <laughs> Ibis King. <sighs> During the match, the Crocodile King fell prey to his opponent's scheme mm. and was sealed away in the Casket of Tomes. Interesting. <laughs> Ouch, game over. After being unexpectedly released by the kid, <laughs> the Crocodile Scutter. King possesses him and helps him to gradually climb the ranks to becoming a legendary TCG player. Mm. <laughs> nice. Hang on, is it just me or does that kind of sound like the plot to a light novel or something? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> It turns out that Yai Publishing House oh is about God. to release a hit light novel series based on Genius Invocation TCG. Stop. Okay, They're now this me. is starting to sound like a plug for Yai Publishing House. <laughs> Maybe. But anyway, that's it's the so legend cute. on how Stop. Genius Invocation TCG came to be. Oh Though it's probably just a story they came up with for marketing the game. Mm -hmm. So while you were telling I'm us about this. the story, I was over here researching the rules to the game. Basically, Genius Invocation TCG is a game duel. where you use a constructed deck of cards to duel against an opponent. Oh my god, this is amazing. The objective is to defeat all of your opponent's character cards. Oh my cards. god. That's right. I also, love this so there are many much. features and mechanics in the game that resonate with Genshin Impact's gameplay. Please. So it shouldn't be too hard for players so to get So perfect. Hand. Right, I even saw some elemental reactions in the gameplay. Yep, a constructed deck must contain character cards. And as you might expect, oh my God. these characters How do you get have them? a normal attack, Tell me an more. elemental skill, and an elemental burst. Oh my God. So when a character <laughs> card deals elemental damage to an enemy, it will cause them to be affected by that element. Then you can switch to a character card of a different element and use their abilities to trigger an elemental reaction. Oh. Wait, did you guys notice that there are even monster character cards? Can we even make a deck of, like, just the monsters from the game? <laughs> You're really getting into this, Max. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I, I love like card this. games. Who doesn't? Same. <laughs> so, in Genius Invocation TCG, Ooh. all actions require you to spend elemental dice. Each round, elemental both dice. you and your opponent will roll eight elemental dice. Each of these elemental dice can have any one of eight elemental attributes. Hold on, but there's only seven elements in the world of Tibet. You're right. So, in addition to the seven standard elements, there's also one called the Omni element. The elemental dice required for a character card to Omni. perform an action corresponds Sussy. to the character's element. So, for example, a Pyro character like D. Luke needs either Pyro or Omni elemental dice to perform mm. an action. Clear now? Mm -hmm. Yep, crystal clear. Also, elemental dice can be used to switch characters 
or play a variety <laughs> of other cards, such as equipment cards, event cards, and support cards. Mm. All these cards create the potential for a variety of strategies. Right. Mm. While playing Genius Invocation TCG, you travelers can, the cat. can earn player experience, <laughs> which will increase your player oh level. My God. As your level increases, Oh thank God! I thought you could fight the cat. And NPCs. That would have been so funny. By completing challenges, you may earn lucky coins, new cards, or other rewards. Oh. Lucky coins can be exchanged oh. in the event shop for cards, or can even unlock dynamic skins oh. for certain cards. Dynamic skins? Th those are cards that have moving illustrations, right? That's right. Oh my God, yes. All character cards can unlock a dynamic skin. After unlocking that, there'll I even love be this. a cool bonus animation whenever you cast that character's I elemental burst. I love bird. this so much. And if you're confident in your TCG skills, you can also invite a friend to duel. After reaching a high enough player level, you'll even unlock a matchmaking mode. I love so this. So be sure to give it a try. Travelers should this note that playing against thing. your friends or other travelers won't count towards any leaderboards or provide any rewards. So you can relax. It's all just for fun. <sighs> <laughs> okay. That's everything we have for Genius Invocation TCG, and that brings us to the end of today's special program. Aww. So, what did you think? Why I loved it. it that was amazing. That so was amazing. There's so much this version has to offer. Yeah, I can't even take it all in right now. I'm just <laughs> super stoked to be part of this. I Aww. think I just gained so cute. some Kugurioku points just doing this whole thing. So. I bet. <laughs> The, the new characters look cool. Mm -hmm. I know. What about Scaramouche hovering? <laughs> like, that's insane. I know. That's awesome. <laughs> that's super He's so dope. cute. That's awesome. And I cannot I love wait Already. to play Help. In some of these events and mini games. Help. I'm super excited. Me too. I'm so excited. <laughs> this was so fun. I'm really glad that we I got see to do the special program. Those artifacts together. I'm so closer. Happy I got to come back for another special program. This is my third time being on one of these and i can't wait for number four i'm counting mm. i'm so happy this you're doing is great Ido. first one so thank you for having me Yay. Um, doesn't it feel good yeah what a doesn't cutie. it feel good to feel to special Seriously, I'm do you like... feel special <laughs> i really do thank you <laughs> <laughs> they're so cute well i think this is the end of our special program miss so you guys bye. i hope everyone enjoyed it that was amazing and we'll see you in game i'm so excited for okay, the cards bye. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. You. See you later. See you later. No, that was so beautiful. That was fantastic. <sighs> that was so wonderful. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited for the cards. But yeah, thank you so much for watching with me. And if you'd like to check me out, make sure to go over to twitch.tv pinkyons. I stream Mondays all the way t to Fridays. And uh, we play Genshin almost every day. We do account reviews, damage showcase, and we usually have Welkin giveaways on Fridays. So make sure to come and check us out. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.